हेलो एवरीवन आई एम विजय गाडवे एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द समराइज डेटा कंपोनेंट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डू द डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग सो लेट अस गो टू द अजोर मशीन लर्निंग स्टूडियो एंड डू द सेम सो हियर आई एम ऑन द अजोर मशीन लर्निंग स्टूडियो गो टू पाइपलाइंस This is the pipeline run that we ran in previous tutorial. I'll open this in another tab. Click on the summarize data component. Maximize outputs plus logs. Let us see the output data. Preview. So this is the summary of the data set. Now note down here the missing value count. of each column there are total 41 missing values in normalized losses this is the column name then two missing values in this column number of doors then four missing values in this column bore again four missing values for the column stroke then two missing values each for these two columns horse powers and peak rpm and four missing values in this column price in our data set there are total 205 observations and here in this column there are total 41 missing values in this column normalized losses generally i remove the column which has more than 5% missing values so here we have only one column which has more than 5% missing values this one normalize losses so we will remove this column i'll close this tab this as well under the pipelines here we are under the pipeline jobs this is the pipeline that we ran in previous tutorial now go to pipeline drafts this is the draft pipeline from here we can edit the pipeline and we can run again i'll delete the summarized data then go to data transformation scroll down we have to look for the component select columns this one select columns in data set drag it to the canvas let us understand more about this component with the help of this component you can select the columns to include or exclude from a data set in an operation learn more here you will get all the information about this component select columns use this component to choose a subset of columns to use in downstream operations you can explore other details as well now connect the data set to this component now click on the select columns in data set first we have to select the columns click on edit column include all columns click on the plus icon exclude column names and here we have to exclude this column normalize losses we are removing this column because it has more than 5% missing values and click on save now click again on edit column and here you can see we have included all the columns and excluded this column normalize losses now click here select columns by default with rules now click on by name and here you can see this column is excluded and these are the selected columns now do not save again click on cancel output settings we will go with the default options override default output settings then input settings we don't have to change anything run settings use default compute target you can select other as well as of now we are going with the default compute target 
node information this is the name of the node select columns in data set let us add a comment remove column let us give the column name normalize losses and from here you can get the component information you can see the same comment here this is the comment that we have specified remove column normalize losses after removing the column we have to deal with the missing data to do that we have to use another component clean missing data go to data transformation then scroll down clean missing data drag this component to the canvas let us understand more about this component with the help of this component we can deal with the missing values let us go to documentation use this component to remove replace and infer missing values and this component supports multiple types of operations for cleaning missing values which includes replacing missing values with a placeholder mean or other value completely removing rows and columns that have the missing values and inferring the values based on statistical methods now connect these two components double click on the clean missing data here we have to first select columns to be cleaned columns for missing values clean operation edit column include all columns and save so we have selected all the columns then we have to specify minimum missing value ratio it will clean only columns with the missing value ratio above the specified value out of set of all selected columns we will specify 0 and maximum missing value ratio 1 so here we are selecting minimum missing value ratio 0 that is 0% to maximum missing value ratio 1 that is 100% after that we have to specify the cleaning mode this is the algorithm to clean the missing values there are total 6 options custom substitution value replace with mean replace with median replace with mode remove entire row and remove entire column so here we will remove entire row which has any missing value then the output settings keep it default input settings also default run settings also keep default node information this is the name of the node let us give the comment remove entire row with any missing value great so first we have selected all the columns to be cleaned then we specified minimum missing value ratio and maximum missing value ratio and after that we have specified the cleaning mode remove entire row so first we have selected columns in the data set here we have removed this column normalize losses and after that we are dealing with the missing data now we have to split the data set go to data transformation scroll down here we have to select this component split data with the help of this component we can partition the rows of a data set into two distinct sets you can read more from here this is the documentation for this component split data component use the split data component to divide a data set into two distinct sets now drag this component to the canvas now note down here under the clean missing data component there are two outputs first one is the clean data set and second one is the cleaning transformation 
Now connect the clean data set to the split data component. Let us understand about the cleaning transformation. This one. Now suppose you have to apply the same operation that we are applying here in this component clean missing data. Then instead of dragging this component again on the canvas, you can directly give this output to the data set and this operation will be applied on that data set. If you have another data set here for example and you have to apply the same operation, then you have to connect the cleaning transformation to that data set. So this is all about the cleaning transformation. Double click on the split data. Here we have to select the method for splitting the data set. Here we have total three methods, split rows, regular expression and relative expression. We will go with the split rows, then the fraction of rows in the first output data set. Here we have to specify a ratio representing the number of rows in the first output data set over the number of rows in the input data set. By default it's 0.5. I'll make it 0.7. So there will be 70% rows in the first output data set and hence 30% rows in the second output data set. Randomize split. It indicates whether rows should be randomly selected. We will keep it as true. Random seed. I'll specify 0. And the stratified split. It indicates whether the rows in each split should be grouped using strata column. So we will make it false because we are dealing with the regression problem. For the classification problem, we have to specify this as true. So we are splitting our data set into two data sets. 70% rows in the first output data set and 30% rows in the second output data set. Then we specified randomized split as true. After that, we specified random seed and the stratified split as false. Keep all other things as default. Output settings, input settings, run settings. Node information as well. Here we will add a comment. 70% training data. And 30% in test data or let us keep 70% training data by default 30% in the test ok we have to type it again accidentally I typed another key 70% training data You can see the comment here. For the data pre-processing, we have to use these three components. Select columns in data set, clean missing data and split the data. Now note down an important point here. As of now, we are not going to run this pipeline. After completing the pipeline, we will run the same. So this tutorial about the data pre-processing ends here. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy learning.